Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I vlogged yesterday, so I thought I would kind of introduce the video to you guys, let you know what's kind of gonna be within the video and then jump straight into it. But I had an event on, which was so much fun. I did get caught in the rain, which you'll see within the vlog. Um, but I loved the event, had so much fun. And then I also popped into the shops beforehand as well. So. I ended up, I'm just looking at the big bag there, I ended up going to Matalan and picked up loads of bits. As you guys know, whenever I'm out and about spending, I always take you guys with me. So before we get into the vlog and take you back to yesterday, firstly, make sure you're set and ready with a nice drink, put your feet up, relax. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And secondly, thank you to our video sponsors for today, which is Manscaped. Manscaped is a brand that I have worked with before and loved their products. I recommended them to friends and family as gift ideas, to you guys as gift ideas for him as well. So if you've never heard of Manscaped before, it's a men's grooming products, which you can buy online. I'll leave a link to their website below. In fact, if you actually shop via my unique link, it will get you 20% off at checkout. I've actually got a couple of new things here to share with you, just some ideas. These are gonna go to our fur baby's dad. Okay, Tom, he's got some of their products already and loves them. So I picked him up some more. The first thing is this set of three boxes. They not only do men's grooming tools, but they also do loads of different accessories and things as well. This is a trusty fave in our household that we whack her. I guess anyone could use it, not just guys, guys and girls. Ear and nose hair trimmer. And I love the branding that they have. The weed whacker, this is called, genius. And then also this is called the perfect package, which is a great idea for if you're also gifting to someone, maybe your first time parents, you wanna gift your other half a nice little package. Um, they've got loads of products, that, loads of ideas for Father's Day with Father's Day obviously coming up. Um, but this one I just thought was quite good. It's got the um, men's grooming tool. They call it the lawn mower. Again, genius. It has skin safe technology, so avoiding any like snags or anything like that. And also wirelessly charge as well. So if you're buying for a gadget lover as well, they might appreciate that. And it is waterproof as well, which is great. But not only are they a great brand, not only for the product quality itself and the branding and everything like that, but also they are partnered with Testicular Cancer Society, which is helping sort of raise awareness of one of the most common forms of cancers in men. I say one of, I believe it is the most common cancer amongst men between 15 and 35. So um, great to raise awareness, to raise funds as well. And yeah, it's, it's just a really good brand. So if you are looking for Father's Day gift ideas or gifts for your other half, whoever it may be, that you think they would love their products, I will leave that link in the description box below where you can take advantage of that 20% off. Thanks to Manscaped for very kindly working with me again. Now let's throw it back to yesterday where we head to the shops first and foremost. I think I get caught in the rain as well. I have arrived this morning at Matthew Allen. Um, to be honest with you, I just picked up my vlogging camera. By the way, Matthew Allen is Matalan, obviously. Um, I just picked up my vlogging camera. I'm out and about today, so I figured I might as well vlog, see what we get up to, and bring you guys along with me for the day. So I have an event on today, um, a lunch event with KGA Fragrances. Um, they like have a load of fragrances on but one of my favorites ultimate favorites that they do is the Abercrombie and Fitch fragrances I feel like they're just a good old classic so KGA fragrances are hosting a lunch at sunset which is part of Australasia in town I've been a few times before it's like kind of sushi style food they do afternoon tea as well so we're gonna go there for lunch today one till three and then I'm gonna head back home pick up Barney from daycare and I don't know what we're doing this evening we have talked about potentially going to the cinema maybe watching the new Top Gun movie so who knows but anyway for this morning I figured I'm up I'm out I'm ready rather than just twiddle my thumbs because if I've got an event on there's I'm just not getting any work done that morning I feel like I just can't focus I'm constantly clock watching when do I need to set off so I thought you know what let's just get out en route there's a big Matalan in like on the outskirts of Manchester so 
I thought I'll bring you guys with me, show you what's new in Matalan. I have my eye on some new homeware bits that they've got in. I always keep track on their socials. I've noticed them working with influencers lately and some of the things I've seen people styling up, I'm loving. Lots of summery bits, although this weather is saying otherwise. I feel like we've had a really weird spring summer this year, but anyway, it's not even summer yet really, but let's go shopping. Let's head on in and see what they've got. mad dash you can't i'm literally there the doors are there so i thought i'll be fine run i'm soaked <laughs> you didn't have any umbrellas in there so on that note there is actually a uh, how am i for time i've probably got another 15 minutes before i need to there's a sue rider here um now i could easily walk however in this rain i might try <laughs> literally drive across the uh car park to see if i can find a car park space at closer where I can do another mad dash in and get again soaking wet um but yeah a few of you have recently messaged saying oh are you like not do doing thrifting or charity shopping anymore and I do the odd bit here and there but to be honest with you like not worthy of vlogging there's just very rarely anything in there or anything that I find if I found anything I'd be vlogging it and then letting you guys know and showing you a haul let me just put the camera there um I did however get lucky in Matalan, I've got quite a few bits, some clothes, some bits for Barney, some homeware, so I'll show you everything that I did pick up when I get home. Oh my god, this weather, what am I going to do? I'm going to get absolutely drenched if it's like this in town. Right, what do you guys reckon? Can I mad dash into there? I think so. It's literally there, the doors are there. Oh, wish me luck. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay because you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. So, I've just parked up. Come to, I've not been to this car park in ages, it's pay on arrival now, so it's really confusing. Up to four hours should be enough. 20 quid. Oh no, I should have gone to the M&S car park. It's like 15 quid for six hours. It's literally cheaper to get a ticket and pay it within 14 days at 25 pounds than paying for up to six hours at 25 pounds and 20 pence. With your colors, they kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us, and the reason why we stay. stay. Well, thankfully, 
lovely the sun's come out much better than earlier and um, we just finished up the event now i'm gonna actually pop into it's only across the road from the white company see if they've got anything new in feel like this is your warning to sit back, relax and buckle up because we've got a pretty lengthy haul I reckon. So make sure if you've not already got one, grab a coffee with me. Let's enjoy it together. I'm going to unbox or share with you the bits that I did pick up today. But also I've got some, I've got back to some PR bits. So um, yeah, I figured I might as well share with you everything that I have got. I'll try and timestamp along the bottom of the video so that if you're not interested in one aspect, you can skip forward to the next. But I figured we might as well start with Matalan um, because that is where I headed to first. <sighs> let me just catch my breath. In fact, let me just have a sip of coffee because I feel like I need this. I already have a bath tray from the White Company. Speaking of White Company, I popped into White Company issue, so I did pick up some bits, so I'll share with you the bits that I did get from, from there as well. I have a bath tray from the White Company, which was £60. <laughs> I think it was £60. I did get a discount off of it, though, because I think I'm classes. When I was in store, they said I'm a privileged member. Don't even know what that means. Probably means I spend too much in the White Company. But it did mean that I get like brochures sometimes you get discounts sent through the mail and she checked in store with me today and I had one that I could just she could process for me so I was like brilliant so I've got some money off today but anyway my point being I have the white company bath tray and to be completely honest with you I do like it but now that I've got my rustic stool in there from Robinson Interiors not now I've had it in there since I've had the bath tray I just feel like the White Company one looks a little too polished, a little too perfect. And when I saw this one that had a much more rustic feel to it, I just think this looks really nice. It was £15 and yeah, it's definitely that kind of distressed look that I like um, about this, a real washed, more vintage looking bath tray. So I picked it up, I'm going to compare the two and if I prefer the White Company, send this one back. But I'm thinking I might end up keeping this one. So if I do, I might end up just selling the White Company one. Then I also got this. Now I've got this for our kitchen. It's £10. It's got one of those acacia mango wood. Again, that kind of rustic wood rather than that perfectly polished. Well, not polished because you don't polish. Yeah, you do polish wood. <laughs> perfectly polished wood or like a real orangey wood. It's a much more rustic kind of wood. So yeah, I got this um, acacia lidded jar for our coffee capsules. I've got one of those metal coffee pod stands, but I think I prefer the look of having them in a jar. So I think I'm going to scrap that and pop them in the jar and just change it over. I've got another acacia wood um, jar also on the side. So I think it will tie in quite nicely with that. So anyway, I got that. And then what else did I get? I also got this for the kitchen, five pounds of fridge mat that you cut to size. So I need to have a good clear out and organize through our fridge. And then I also got some kitchen towels. Now, definitely don't need any more kitchen towels, but when I saw these, couldn't resist. I like how chunky they are. I've got a couple that I got from John Lewis recently and I have them out, but I, I don't like how flimsy they feel and there's not much fabric to them. These, because of the waffle, are quite thick and chunky. Now, they did have three colours, this lovely sage green, this neutral beige, and then they had a really nice charcoal as well. Pack of two, six pounds each. Then I got these in the clearance. These are in the clearance for, well, they were priced up at um, reduced down to four pounds. They were eight pounds. They reduced down to four pounds, then two pound fifty. And then when I got to the till, they were only £1.50. So I got three of them. They're like a whitewashed um, document tray. But I really loved the fact that they had like a real antique brass hardware. I just thought they looked lovely. Tom's top, the top floor is basically Tom's office. So I thought these would look nice. So I got three because um, I thought they'd look quite nice stacked. So we can have, there is three, but you get the idea of what they're going to look like. Um, I thought you could have these just with the top tray for maybe a candle on there to dress up quite nice, a pen pot or something, and then the other two for um, like receipts, invoices, paperwork, documents, that kind of thing, and just to kind of it all 
nice and neat and organized. Oh, these kind of match the tea towels that I got. They are a little set of waffle dish cloths and they come in this really nice little canvas bag that you could have out on the side. Six pounds for the pack of four. I just thought they looked quite nice. And then I'm gonna have a refresh of Barney's dog toy basket and actually potentially get rid of the basket and use this one. Is that like marked? Or is that just meant to be like that? Can you see? It's like it's been painted with white that's kind of like not dried properly. I guess what they've done is they've probably try and whitewashed that bottom part. But anyway, this bone basket, I've seen Matalan do and I've always wanted to find it. I've never found it in store until now. So it's 18 pounds. I'm gonna get rid of the one that he currently has and really whittle down his treats and toys because he doesn't need that many. And um, he doesn't play with he probably plays with 10% of the toys because I think when there's too many toys, he just doesn't end up playing. He, he plays with all of them, but not all at the same time. If that makes sense. I'm waffling. So anyway, this is a plenty big enough for all of his toys. So I'm going to have a bit of a refresh, get rid of the tatty ones. I did pick him up a brand new one to pop in there as well. This one at four pounds. It's got a little rope on it. I thought it looked cute, but I'm not sure how long this one will last. That's the other thing with dog toys. They do, they don't last the longest if um, he has a good rough and tumble with them. I thought that would be the first toy in his new toy basket. So um, is that everything that I got for No, I also got him a little bandana because how could I not? A little blue, baby blue bandana with B, his initial on. So cute, £3.50. I sent him off to daycare today. They were having a Jubilee party. So he's got his red collar with a little blue uh, bow tie. There he is with his friend enjoying their party food, a plate of party food with biscuits and so little mini sausages on. Anyway, I also got these for the kitchen. Now I've got these in the circle shape, but I thought I'd pick up the, I've never seen the rectangular shaped ones. So I've got these six pound for one, two, three, four, five, six. I also got this for the kitchen, a little wooden spoon. Again, that kind of acacia wood, wooden spoon. I've never, well, I don't have a spaghetti spoon. So I picked this one up at two pounds. Oh, I also got this from the pet section. They honestly have the best pet things. Matalan really do pet products well. Um, I got this at four pound 50. It's a little treat bag. I just thought I'm gonna start trying to go on longer walks with Barney. Um, because I just feel like I want to get my step count in and just there's some lovely walks near us and I just rather than doing the daily walk I want to just push myself to just walk that a little bit further so I'm going to start trying to do there's one walk that's 8k and I think it would probably take me a couple of hours maybe 8 to 10k is that about right at walking a couple of hours we'll see um so yeah I'm going to try and do longer walks with him and this one was £4.50 so I thought it'd be a nice little clip on the side to pop some treats in and then i've got one pair of shoes got these sliders now i did pick these ones up in the neutral color that they had the kind of stone beige color they had them in sage green as well um but then i actually decided well i've got my chloe slides which i do wear and then i've got my light colored haviana flip-flops so actually if anything i'm in need of maybe a black pair so yeah, £6.50 for them. They are so comfy. Last of the homeware bits now, I got this at £2. I think this was, yeah, this was 20% off though. It's just a rig ridged tumbler. It could sit quite nicely, which is probably how I'm gonna have it, on Tom's tray as a pen holder. And a bathroom as toothbrush holder, and a kitchen utensils, whatever you wanna use it for. Clothing wise, I just picked up a few bits. This one, I loved this dress, 18 pounds. I've not tried it on yet, but um, it just looks so pretty. It's a really nice, thick, ruched kind of linen fabric. They've got this whole range of linen blend collection, it's called. Really pretty summer's dress. Something a bit different for me with the pattern, but I just really like the fabric of it. Then I got a couple of basics. I got this um, in both the khaki green it's kind of like a cap sleeve vest t-shirt and then i also got it in the white white i'll probably get a lot of wear out of but if i'm wearing light colored jeans or bottoms i thought the khaki um or the green colored top would be a nice addition too and then i also got this in the sale they had loads of sale bits in um three pound fifty reduced from seven pounds it's just one of their little workout tops called a loose fit from soul lux in a medium it's just a bla basic black workout top that i thought i could get my step count in on dog walks but also 
when I go on a run. So yeah, pick that up. That is everything that I got from Matt's land. What should I show you next? I'll show you the white company bits and then the all of the PR bits. They didn't have any of the standard white company bags, so I got a the little white company bag. Although there's no baby products in here, but you know. Um, I did get a gift wrap option. I just bought a gift wrap option. I bought one of the boxes, the medium sized one at four pounds. Um, that is the only thing, when you do gift wrap online, it charges you five pounds, but whatever you've purchased, it will give you the box size for that item. So if it's just like a little oil, you might just get a tiny little box and you still pay five pounds. Whereas when you go in stores, the little box I think is three pounds, then four pounds, then five pounds. So I got a medium one just for storage more than anything. The fragrance I've talked about before, sea salt, that the white company do, it's a limited edition fragrance. I don't know how long they're going to stock any more of it. They did say that um, they were told that they weren't getting any more and that it had all sold out. And then they did get an order come through. So I think that probably is a good sign that that might be the last of the deliveries that they got. So I did stock up because sea salt, I'm going to say it, is my new favorite fragrance. Maybe above the winter ones, only because the winter ones I would only ever burn at winter. This one I'd burn all year round, or like use all year round. They didn't have any of the room sprays left, but they did have the oils, so I stocked up on two more of these. Now, this scent was very familiar to me, and I was thinking, how do I recognize that? And it, I, it, came to me the other day. If you know about Abercrombie and Fitch and they used to like spray all their stuff in store, I think they probably still do. So when you pick up the bag of stuff, it like smell of the men's fierce fragrance that Abercrombie and Fitch do. And I used to love that smell. This is what that smells like. So it's quite a, even though it's called sea salt, it's actually quite a musky masculine scent. It's like a men's aftershave. Yeah, it, it does have that coastal element, but it just smells like, it smells like the summer Abercrombie & Fitch men's fragrance. That's what it smells like. So I do have one oil on the go already. These oils are £10 each, so I just stocked up on two more of those. Because I love the friend fragrance so much, I did pick up one of the big candles. These retail for £60, they're kind of pricey, but they do last a long while. And if you burn them evenly, I mean, I've still got my fire set on the go just about. I've probably got a couple more burning sessions on that. But to be fair, I don't burn that too often. But this is going to go downstairs in our kitchen. I'm going to light it at night. And I just love it. I'm almost through a Jo Malone one, just like the single wick one. So as soon as that's done, that's going on. Now, because it did remind me of like a Abercrombie Fitch men's fragrance type scent, I was like, right, well, I'm going to get the body stuff as well, which I very rarely buy from the white company. £28 a set these ones are. And I've got the hand and nail gift set to pop. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm gonna have it out somewhere because it smells so amazing. But then I did also get the Bath and Body gift set. This has the body cream as well. So that's everything that I got from the White Company. Speaking of Abercrombie and Fitch, K G A Fragrances, who hosted our lunch today, Kenneth Green Associates. They um, they represent Abercrombie and Fitch fragrance so they're gonna send me one of the fragrances that I love because one of the other girls there she said it's her favorite too and um, they did actually very kind of gift us a fragrance today though the Jimmy Choo I Want You Eau de Parfum I came home to a big box which is downstairs I might just open that with you downstairs in a second it did feel a bit heavy to bring upstairs and it is actually for downstairs some new bits from dusk that they've sent over some new cushions for our sofa I'm, I'm gonna have a bit of a sofa switch up so I'll show you that in a sec let me share with you the bits that I've been sent in the mail. So Honest Beauty, I've never tried Honest Beauty before. I think it's, is it owned by Jessica Alba? Yeah, I thought it was. Beauty Sleep Resurfacing Serum. A Cheek Blush in Plum Berry. A Gloss C, Lip Gloss it's called, 4 in 1 Lip Treatment in Pink Agate. Let's try that one. And then an eyebrow pencil. Ooh, nice. Let's try the pink agate gloss C lip gloss. Gloss. And then the letter C. Can you see? Can you see? 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 Oh, yeah, it's actually quite rosy. Let's just pop a little bit on. Adds a bit of colour. Oh, it's not sticky. It's always a win. I can't stand a sticky lip gloss. If a lip gloss is going to be sticky, I just, I know I won't wear it. Hmm, nice, and a bit of colour. Okay, next up I've got this. It's for, it's 
for Barney. Where's Molly? But where's Barney? That is so cute. Oh my God, I love that. This is Super Dog, the UK's number one vitamins from Vitabiotics, uh, which obviously do human vitamins as well. So they now do doggy vitamins. We've got joints and bones, one in the health and vitality for coat and condition. A couple of tennis balls, which will go nicely in his new dog basket. Tennis balls with Barney don't last very long at all. He likes to destroy them, which is just great. This package makes me very happy because way, is a brand that I love. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is like a um like a pharmacy style package. How cool is that? So they've included what are these? Magnetic little containers. I'm assuming. Can you just pop your yeah, it's like a little pill container. How cute is that? So there's two products that they've included. The Scalp Serum, which you section hair to reveal the scalp. Apply dropper of scalp serum down the part and along hairline. Massage, and, massage? massage until it absorbs. Style as usual can be used on wet or dry hair. Oh, okay, so you apply it afterwards. It's a leave-in product. That's interesting because I don't usually like to put anything on my scalp because I feel like it makes my hair greasy. So... I'll be trying that one out. And then these are the food supplements for full and, what's it, thick and full hair. And then last but not least, I've got, before showing you the dusk items, this from Iconic London. Love Iconic London products. I always talk about their illuminating drops. They're honestly my favorite. I like the Prep Set Glow as well, actually. What did I say? I said that I like the Prep Set Glow. This is a new product, the Prep Set Tan. This, I think I'm gonna love. 100% vegan, cruelty free, RRP of 24 pounds, infused with tanning agents to give you the best golden glowing tan yet. So you always pop on the Prep Set Glow either before makeup, like just on your natural skin or after makeup to set it. And then so I'm assuming with this one, you can just use it in the exact same way. But obviously it has those tanning agents in, which is amazing. Comes in two shades. You've got the glow and the original. This one's the original and this one's the glow. So you can see the difference there. I'm so excited to try them out. So yeah, that's everything that I got. Let me take you downstairs now to do a little sofa switch over and then I'm gonna have to go and pick up Barney Boo from his daycare, his Jubilee party. What did you guys do for the Jubilee weekend? Anything exciting? Well, this is exciting. This is my level of excitement these days. I got this through. Obviously, keep these included within my renovation vlogs, but from Coat Paint, I've got some samples to decide and I need to order the paint pronto because the builders are ready to start painting behind the radiators before they hang them so oh god it's a bit of a mess in here just to excuse that <laughs> needs a hoover needs a tidy i don't know why all the builders have brought loads of stuff out here they must have been doing something on the staircase on the inside this is the current sofa setup i got these from costco but they don't wash that well and obviously with a dog on here things can pick up smell so i tend to use throws as you can tell everywhere and just wash them regularly um, and then as for the actual cushions themselves i've got this one which i do like the look of from primark but i don't like the insert from it so um yeah i like a good chop one these one these two i do like though so i might use those on a bed but i think i'm just going to get rid of these bigger fluffier ones maybe put them on a bed um maybe not but if i do i need to give them a wash first but yeah i've got these Cushion pads, 65 by 65. I've got some um, smaller ones at 50 by 50 and then also 30 by 50. And then the corresponding um, cushion covers. So they do this new boucle kind of finish and then also this linen look, which actually it has the linen look on the back. So you could always switch out and have like one side on show and then switch it over. Um, but the linen look ones are just plain like so. And here we have the finished result. Much fresher, much lighter and brighter. Um, I've just popped this through here because if you have a golden, you know that they shed and 
a black sofa and a golden retriever don't work well together so I always just have a little throw he usually sleeps here I'm just gonna pop a spritz of this on as well this is my fabric spray from Zara home it smells lovely it's the absolute linen scent and honestly it just smells so good i know not everyone's a fan of the old chop but if you are a fan of the karate chop cushions then they are very choppable i'd say that probably a bit too chopped i'm not gonna lie sometimes i do agree it is possible to have too much of a chop just a quick more of a kind of close-up as well on this the boucle ones have this as the back part which the linen ones also have as the back so i've just switched around this is what the front of the linen look cushions look like so obviously they work well together but i just quite like the fact that the back tie in quite nicely so you could just have them all on the reverse and look exactly the same like that and just have them all on that side but i do quite like the difference in texture so um, then the little mini kind of bolster one there and yeah that is making me feel much fresher and much better and they also feel far comfier than the other ones that we had so thank you to dusk so that concludes today's vlog video a roundup of what i got up to yesterday i hope you guys have enjoyed watching do give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and of course don't forget to take advantage of that 20% off discount off of Manscaped using my unique link, which I will leave in the description box, which you can click through and have a little browse of some great gift ideas for the men in your lives. And yeah, thank you to them for working with me. Thanks to you guys for watching. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.